I'm Corey Duke. Here are your top stories from Two Works For You. A Tulsa man is behind bars, arrested in the city's fifth murder of the year. That happened overnight. 45-year-old Brandon Smith is being held for second-degree murder. Police say a woman died after a fight with Smith. Her body was found at a home near 11th and South Utica. Police haven't yet released the victim's name. And fire investigators in Broken Arrow are continuing to search for the cause of a house fire that took the lives of a man and two children yesterday. It happened around noon near Elman, Kenosha. Officials could release the names of the victims later today. And it's voting time in Sand Springs. They'll decide on two separate school bonds, which the district says won't raise taxes. Now, if approved, Angus Valley Elementary School would get a brand new gym with a storm shelter. It would also build a new ninth grade center. Now let's get a check of today's forecast from meteorologist Clint Boone. All right, thank you very much, Corey. Don't forget that coat as you head out the door this morning. Temperatures are in the teens. We will climb above freezing this afternoon with highs in the upper 30s and near 40. Check out temperatures by the end of the week, 60s and even some 70s. Next decent chance for some showers and storms will be for Saturday morning, but the weekend's not going to be a washout. Heading into Sunday, partly sunny upper 50s and middle 50s heading into next Monday. Thanks for tuning in to this digital news update. Keep checking back for updates throughout the day. I'm Corey Duke, two works for you.